Hello Teco Incans, hope you're doing well. So today we'll be talking about one more subtopic from your science textbook that is chapter number one, food, where does it come from? And today we'll be discussing omnivores. As we already know that there are a wide variety of animals who has been classified, categorized on the basis of their eating habits. And this is the third one that we are going to discuss. Omnivores basically are those animals who are able to eat both animals as well as plants as uh, we have already discussed in the previous uh, modules there we said that uh, the words has been derived from the latent word same is the case with omnivores the two words has been derived from the latent word one omni from the omnia that means all or everything and the word from the another word latent word that is vorar which means to eat so any animal you come across who is capable to eat who is able to have uh, the food in terms of food animals as well as plants we call them omnivores animals like crow cockroach bear and humans are very excellent examples for the omnivores right so omnivores also have got some specific features like those of the birds belonging to this category have got a strong pointed beaks that they use to tear the flesh whereas humans as a are one of the good example for the you know kind of an omnivores with the different types of tea that allows them to eat both plants as well as animals nevertheless you should also remember that omnivore has got two different types also for the more and we have got we call them scavengers and decomposers some carnivores and or rather we should say omnivores such as vulture crow hyena usually do not kill other animals for their food instead they have got a capability to fed on the dead parts of plants and animals and uh, do you know such animals are called scavengers so animals that eat dead plants and animals are scavengers since it eat both plants and animals that is why it belongs to the omnivores right whereas decomposers are those animals who actually also fed on the dead and decayed uh, particularly plants and animals the only difference is basically the other one that is what we call the scavengers they you know somehow tear the part they 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 take it they eat it whereas decomposers release some kind of in chemicals which are capable to break down the organic matter of plants and animals and that is how they carry out their nutrition like we have got an excellent example out of it for the bacteria and um, uh, these uh, what do you call that microorganism who actually act as decomposers so this was all for the omnivores and I hope that you have understood. We'll get back to you with another topic. For now, I'll take a leave. Thank you.